Hello B Business B fans and welcome to a special B Business B vlog where I thought that it's my turn to assemble this week and I'm, I'm going to share with you the, one of the topics of assembly and I'm doing it all about ethical business and one of the companies I started to look at was the entertainer now you've probably seen the entertainer in the high street and beyond them shops there's a massive story to tell and I think it's quite a fascinating story. It's one about values and morals. And I thought, let's use the B Business B vlog to share those values. Firstly, not being paid a single penny by the entertainer. Not even spoke to them about this. This is all research that I've conducted. Um, but like I say, I think it's a fantastic story about business. Now, the entertainer is owned and founded by Gary Grant. And Gary Grant, according to research, is worth about £30 million himself as a person. And he set up the entertainer as an independent toy shop in 1981. Now, what's remarkable about this is that Gary Grant became a Christian in 1991, and that caused him a moral dilemma. He was on the verge, apparently, of giving up running the business because he was going to become a missionary. However, he decided that let's integrate the morals that he has and values into his business. And that's exactly what he did with The Entertainer. And it's one of the only companies that I know of which actually closes on a Sunday still because it's against the religious beliefs of the owner because it should be a sacred day and a day of rest in his beliefs. And that's what he does exactly that when it comes to his business. More so, really, when it caught my attention was when Christmas Eve fell on a Sunday. And Christmas Eve is one of the best times for a toy shop to sell toys and not compromising those morals, the entertainer should. So it gave up one of its best trading days because of morals and principles. However, that doesn't mean it's not successful because according to the data that I've obtained, and I'm looking down here and finding that, it's making about £170 million in profit each year, but gives away 10% of its profits to charity. And it supports charity quite a lot. And again, that's something that's really massive for a business and it shows, again, that it values its morals and its principles. On top of that, of course, one of the real interesting things is the, the selection of toys and products it sells. It refuses to sell toys which are deemed to be unethical. So, for example, Halloween, them toys are not stocked in the shop because it goes against those religious beliefs of paganism. The same with Harry Potter. So those are the toys you won't find when you look shopping the entertainer. Again, it's all about morals and principles and values. And that's what the owner has decided to set, and he sticks by them. And I think that's a fantastic way to do business. On top of that, Gary Grant himself openly admits he left school with only one A level. Well, sorry, one O level. So that's like the equivalent of a GCSE. And it was in maths. Now, he openly admits that he's dyslexic and it wasn't about qualifications. It was about drive and a passion and determination. And because of that, he takes that same outlook and ethos in the world of work. The Entertainer apparently is one of the companies where you don't need to prove your qualifications to get a job. And many of his employees have worked his way up through the ladder, which is a fantastic story because it just shows that those values and those beliefs are entwined in everything that that company does. And I think that's a fantastic story. And maybe one that we should celebrate more. So when people talk about businesses and they talk about ethics, I think you should probably look to people like the entertainer and think, Matt, they can be successful and they can have their values and their morals and their ethics. And it's one of those things that I've never really noticed. But when I walk past on a Sunday and I see that shop shut, I'm going to think to myself now, that's because the owner has got those morals and those principles. And maybe if more business people stuck to their morals and principles, then we would actually have a successful business community. And okay, that's a short B Business B blog, but I'd like you to think about that and hopefully remember it in the future. Remember, until next time, make sure you keep buzzing.